Hey guys, Jessica here, the Ferrari Family Coach. In this video, we're gonna be talking about reasons why your dog may be ignoring you. So stick with me. So is your dog ignoring you? Well, there are a few different reasons why this may be happening. So stick with me in this video. We're gonna talk about a few of the reasons why your dog may be ignoring you and of course what you can do to combat that. So thank you for being here. My name is Jessica. I'm the Furry Family Coach. If you're new to my channel, our this channel is all about uh, dog behavior, dog training, canine enrichment, canine nutrition. So if that is you, please go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. And once you do, a bell will pop up. Click the bell and check all notifications. That way, YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. But right now, let's get into why your dog ignores you. And really quick, before we actually start, I do wanna mention, check the links in the description below. I have some freebies, some free training that you can get access to, it's click and learn. So go ahead and um, when the video is over, check the description for links to get some additional free training for your dog. So let's get right into why your dog ignores you. First and foremost, I wanna say that Trust has to be earned, and this is not something new that we've never heard of before, but with your dogs, trust is something that comes in a little bit of a different form than what you would traditionally think with like other humans, right? We're not the same species, so we have to learn to actually think like our dogs and earn their trust in ways that they can respond to and understand. So what's happening here? What are some of the actual reasons that your dog may be ignoring you? Remember that the very first principle of dog training is that the behaviors that get rewarded are repeated. So one of the things that could be going wrong is that maybe your timing is off. So if you're working with your dog and you think, I'm gonna reward X behavior, that way my dog does it more, you know, dogs are, every moment things are changing and if you reward too quickly or if you take too long to reward, they may not be, they may not be associating that reward with the behavior you're trying to reinforce. Another reason your dog may be ignoring you is that you talk too much. For a dog, their language is visual. It's not audible like it is with us humans. Dogs look at body language and actions, and that's where they get their cues from. So when your dog is trying to figure out what it is you're asking of them, they're looking at your body language and not listening to your voice at first. Constant talking is just noise to them. General rule of thumb, and this goes with anything in life, not just dog training. If you ask something multiple times and you're not getting the response you're looking for, try something different because what you're doing isn't working. When we're talking about dog training, we really need to make our words count. So once we have reinforced a behavior in our dog, then we can assign a cue word to it that way our dogs can relate the cue word to the behavior that they are being rewarded for. Another reason your dog may be ignoring you is that whatever reward you're providing, whether it's treats or praise, a combination of the both, maybe a toy you're trying to use, might not cut it. It might not be good enough for your dog. I talk a lot about uh, treat values and object values to our dog and there's generally a hierarchy uh, in those values. There may be some rewards that your dog is like, meh, okay, and then some other rewards that they like a little bit better and then other rewards that they like even better. And then there's always gonna be that like pinnacle of a reward that your dog absolutely can never say no to and that's gonna be their absolute highest value treat, of course, that you wanna reserve for any time you're trying to get over a hump or a hurdle or your dog has really done above and beyond something amazing that you really want to let them know you did wonderful, here's your highest value reward. So there is a hierarchy of rewards and maybe you're using something with too low of a value for your dog for whatever it is you're asking them to do. Another reason your dog may be ignoring you is that you've lost your temper. Of course, I'm a positive reinforcement dog trainer. It is the only way we should be 
training our dogs is with positive reinforcement. It is scientifically proven that that is the best way that dogs learn. And if you're one of those people that get frustrated and lose your temper, your dog responds much more to your emotions than to your words. So if you're frustrated, if you get angry, your dog is going to feed off of that emotion. They are not going to be in a state to learn. Not to mention if you have attempted a physical correction with your dog, this is in this is no way to treat a dog or train a dog. It's only going to make things worse and it is definitely going to diminish the trust, any trust you may have in your dog. Again, they're not gonna to wanna to listen to you if they don't trust you. So there are so many reasons not to lose your temper, not to use physical corrections. The only way, the best way to train is with positive reinforcement. And if you ever do feel like you're getting frustrated or maybe you're you're losing your temper, stop, take a step back, take a breather, go do something different. Do play with your dog instead. Do something that's gonna make you and your dog happy. Don't ever take that out on your dog. Another reason your dog may be ignoring you is that you are trying to ask things of him or train in an environment that your dog is not in a state of mind to be learning or to be training. So that could be maybe going to the playground, right? A doggy play yard. There could be, um, you could be going to the park or, you know, an off-leash dog park or a uh, doggy beach. Any place like that where your dog is associated with just play and fun, you can't just take your dog there and expect them 100% of the time to listen to you unless you have done a lot of positive reinforcement training working up to that, but also your dog is going to need some fun downtime, some playtime. And this is, your dog is gonna associate different places with different behaviors as well. So when you take your dog to a dog park or a dog beach or anything like that, where there are tons of distractions around, it is absolutely the worst place to train and not to say that you can never get your dog to respond to you in those places. You can, you just have to work up to it and build up to it. Training doesn't start at a dog park. Another reason your dog may be ignoring you is that you can't commit. What do I mean is that you train one day and you don't train for a month and then you go back and you say, I'm going to train and then you don't train for a few weeks and then you have to really commit to a plan. You have to have a plan in place. You have to be able to, I mean, it doesn't take long. Set aside 15 minutes a day or 15 minutes twice a day and work with your dog. It's not something you can do sporadically. You have to remain consistent. And if you're not remaining consistent, your dog is getting a lot of mixed messages from you. And of course, you can't expect things from your dog without actually investing in your dog. You have to make time for your dog. You have to make time to meet all of your dog's needs. One of those needs is that your dog actually prefers to work for their treats. And what do I mean by that? Your dog, of course, is if you just hand your dog treats all the time, of course they're gonna take them. It's food, it's yummy food. They're gonna want their treats, but make your dog actually work for some of their treats. They're going to feel more of a sense of accomplishment that I did something, you're gonna boost their confidence. Make sure you're taking the time to invest in your whole dog and everything your dog needs, training, enrichment, fear-free vet visits, Invest in everything your dog needs and make sure that they're getting what they need, not just being handed everything. So let me know in the comments if any of these apply to you. Maybe I said something that struck a nerve or a chord with you and you're like, oh my gosh, I definitely can do X, Y, Z different. Um, maybe I haven't been doing X, Y, Z the right way with my dog. And you know, it happens. I understand. So let me know in the comments what you got out of this video or if something really struck a chord with you. I'd love to hear about it. Once you make some changes um, in how you interact with your dog, let me know all of the changes that you're seeing in your dog listening to you and not ignoring you. <laughs> I'd love to hear all of the wonderful stories. Don't forget to join my group 
group. That way we can have a conversation about the things your dog needs and the things you can improve or change and make your relationship better with your dog. And we can actually uh, check in with each other and, and see all of the progress you're making. The link for my group is in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other questions outside of the subject matter of this video, go ahead and post them in the comments below as well because I need to make more videos for you guys and what better way to make a video than to answer your questions. So go ahead and post that in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you or a thumbs down if you really didn't like it. At least I'll know, right? And subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate you supporting me here on YouTube. And once you hit subscribe, click the bell and click all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you anytime I post a new video. Thank you so much for being here and watching this video. I really do hope you learned a lot from it and I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.